A Phoenix man who calls himself the zombie hunter sits on death row after killing two women in the early 90s. The cold case went unsolved for two decades. Tonight, the lead detective sits down with 12 News journalist Gabriela Becerra and opens up about his role in finding the canal killer. For 23 years, Phoenix police searched for the killer of Angela Brasso and Melanie Burness. In the early 90s, their bodies were pulled from the Arizona Canal just months apart with DNA evidence from the same person. This was somebody evil. The case went cold until Phoenix Sergeant Troy Hillman and his team of detectives set out to find the killer. I printed the cases out and they were just massive. Detectives poured over their files looking for any clues they might have missed. We had so many doubters that said, what are you doing? Um, he's been in the system. System, the DNA system forever. Um, he's dead. What, what do you got? You're wasting your time. A turning point finally came when a forensic genealogist approached Hillman about cross matching DNA evidence with a public database of people who've taken ancestry tests. We'd never heard of it. The genealogist matched the DNA evidence with the surname Miller, narrowing their search from more than 800 people to five. Sure enough, Brian Patrick Miller was a file. Uh, and reading through that file, um, me personally, the hair stood on the back of my neck. Um, I, it spoke of a serial killer. Brian Patrick Miller was known in Phoenix as the zombie hunter, often dressing up, driving a decorated car, and taking pictures with police officers. Hillman was shocked to learn their suspect was right under their nose the whole time. I didn't expect him to be a uh, hiding in plain sight in a fantasy world as a zombie hunter. To prove the zombie hunter was a killer, detectives took Miller to a restaurant under the ruse of a job interview. We were pretty sure this was our guy. We just needed the DNA to confirm it. DNA on the mug Miller drank from matched the canal killers. Police arrested him in 2015. Despite pleading guilty by insanity, Miller still claims he didn't kill Brasso and Burnus. Pretty much either denied, lied to us, or, or kind of toyed with us for a while until we really, really pressed him. But DNA doesn't lie. Absolutely. He could not explain why his DNA was both crime scenes. Hillman fears there's more victims. As a pattern of, since he was a young boy, of doing these just violent uh, sexual fantasy type murders um, or attacks and uh, so there, there's there's got to be more. Hillman retired after Phoenix police dissolved its cold case unit in 2017. Now he's writing a book about a time in his life he says he'll never forget. You know, to this day I'm still in disbelief. Finally give those uh, those girls and their families justice was uh, again the highlight of my career. In Phoenix, Gabriela Bakira, 12 News.